Now at five tonight, a major victory for advocates of working families. Rhode Islanders will be able to care for sick loved ones without worrying about paying their bills under legislation signed by Governor Lincoln Chafee. And tonight, we talked to a local mom who struggles to take care of her son and what this now means for her. From the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance is outside the Rhode Island State House now with more. Now that Governor Lincoln Chafee has signed the temporary disability insurance expansion bill into law, Rhode Island becomes the third state nationwide to implement an insurance plan of this kind. Picking up after her 20 year old son is not something Tammy Russo chooses to do. This Coventry mom keeps Joey close out of necessity. He is cognitively delayed. Joey. Diagnosed with autism is an adult, but Russo says his cognitive level is between the ages of four and seven. Caring for her oldest son, she says, is demanding, causing her to miss weeks of work without pay. But that'll soon change after lawmakers passed a bill called Temporary Caregiver Insurance, or TCI. The new bill allows up to four weeks of leave at two-thirds of the regular wages to care for an ailing family member. TCI is an expansion of the state's existing temporary disability insurance law. And like that program, TCI will be funded through paycheck deductions. I won't have to wonder about how we're paying the bills if, when or if he has to be hospitalized again. Russo says Joey frequently has seizures. His condition worsened last fall. She took 10 weeks off to care for her son at Rhode Island Hospital. I was by his bedside. My husband or I had to be by his bedside at all times because his medical care workers, they don't understand what he's saying. Russo says the new TCI law will help her stay on top of mounting bills. And it's not just a benefit for her family. Parents of newly adopted or foster children will be covered now, too. That is just going to mean so many benefits to so many children and families. The Russos, like many other families across the state, will be able to start using this type of insurance on January 1st of next year. Reporting with the Mobile Newsroom, Shante Lands, Eyewitness News.